Hey guys, I'm Nick Major, APTV Los Angeles correspondent. Today I am in Hollywood on the famous Sunset Boulevard and we're checking out the AND group. I am here with Lucas Keller of the AND group. You're one of the founding members. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the AND group? It's a fairly new company. I started this company in February. We're about nine or 10 people now. And um, we're uh, three different things. We're a music and artist management company. Uh, we're a music publishing company and licensing company for uh, for songs. So we play songs in TV, film, and commercials. Uh, and then the third part of our company is we do brand marketing. Uh, and so we market everything uh, from uh, you know big nightclubs around the world to uh, the headphone company like Soul Republic Headphones. So what do you specifically focus in on in this company? What's your specialty? I oversee our music department. I oversee our, our publishing department. So. Um, you know, I'm focused on putting out a new Breathe Carolina record in April, like I'm focused on making a new Scott Weiland record, like I'm, you know, putting songs on Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood records and, um, and really involved in the song business as well. Had you always wanted to open up your own place eventually, or did that, was that an idea that kind of came after you got to work in the industry and you got to see how stuff was run? I think you start out on your own and you realize you have no idea what you're doing and then you go to work for other people and you have great... Uh, great mentors. So you take the good, kind of throw out the bad along the way, and you add that all up to uh, you know a, a, a moment in time when you say, "Hey, I'm going to start my own company." So I, I think I probably thought I was always going to do this. I can't really work for other people. I have a hard time uh, working uh, for other people. I, I have a really one of the reasons why I'm building a company and not doing it on my own is because I have a really good time working with people. Um, I, I actually almost. I don't like being viewed as a management company because of the different things that, that we do here. All the people that used to kind of control our business have, have less power now. It all has shifted to management companies. At the same time, the weight has fallen on the management companies to pick up the slack. So uh, now management companies are kind of the jack of all trades mm -hmm. and have to do everything. So, um, but, but that's been a lot of fun and I feel like I'm, I'm taking all of the kind of things that I've learned over the last 10 years and constructing them to put this company together. So what's some of the work with your name attached to it that you're most proud of? Made a great record this year with Avril Lavigne, um, you know, Carrie Underwood, Christina Perry, uh, Metric, Three Days Grace, um, you know, Pitbull, Christina Aguilera, just a, just a long list of almost any pop artist, rock alternative artist, uh, or country artist, I've somehow kind of been involved in uh, just in the in the song and publishing space, which has been a lot of fun. I actually made a record with Tim Armstrong, which was really cool oh, yeah. from Rancid. Yeah. Why have you been doing this for so long now, though? What, what did you find with management that you liked so much or that you were at least good at? A lot of it to me has to do with the shift of just our business and not just revenues and, um, you know, the fact that people are streaming music now instead of buying music and you know, the fact that the music business is slowly just getting smaller from selling albums to singles to music for free to, you know, like, to me, uh, solving those those things for artists and for writers and producers and uh, and for talent is, is really rewarding. But um, the last five years, um, as the music business has completely been flipped on its back, um, I've enjoyed being able to find you know, new ways to develop artists, new ways to, you know, release records and market artists and CD sales and every type of media was down until Steve Jobs came along with Apple and, you know, uh, kind of made the music buying process sexy again. And then, uh, then people were able to buy the song at 99 cents. So then everybody hated that guy, but music sales went back up. Mm -hmm. And now as streaming services have come out, uh, Spotify sales show that uh, or Spotify streams to show that people then go to buy it on iTunes. So it's all massively controversial, but I, I do believe that um, businesses cannibalize other businesses. So technology came along and made art, uh, you know, less expensive. For the people that have five or ten years left of their career and they're about to get out of the business, uh, they can, those older people tend to blame technology, you mm -hmm. know, and will for the next decade as they uh, get out. And for guys like me that have decades ahead, uh, our job is to figure out how, how to, to it. yeah, figure out how to embrace it. Um, you know, you can't be the out of touch guy. You have to kind of be on the bleeding edge of all that stuff. There's been plenty of instances in the last few years where, or especially the last two years, where people are, you know, giving away 
all of a record for stream and then when they've built some critical mass and enough people are talking about it they just flip it and sell it and it's as if it was never given away for free because people go and buy it for the future of well whatever futures left of say record sales for example do you think it's going to pretty much stick to what it's at now like where you can use spotify or youtube and uh, labels have started to put up entire albums for free now and you can just listen to the album there but as you said like some people t they'll go and buy it afterwards do you think that's the future do you think eventually sales and music are just going to stop to where it's just free releases say and then the money gets made through tours all of those you know days of like oh sh shoot the record leaked it's over like all of those days are over um it, it means that putting the music out for free is a good thing and then you can kind of flip it and sell it i don't think music sales are going to go down much from here but i do know from talking to our administration company on our publishing side who are really forward in terms of collection and royalties and administration and all that that they believe in the next five years uh you know 100 percent of music is streaming the the music for sale is gone mm -hmm. so so you know best buy fye the whole all of that is just uh you know, uh, white dwarf headed for the black hole. That's over. Um, streaming music is, you know, going to rule everything. You know, we have worked with YouTube uh, artists, artists that have big YouTube presences that make money off brands and advertising and uh, stuff that never used to exist. You know, artists that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year off, you know, putting videos online. You know, uh, I was joking with someone the other day. I said the new small club is is the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. artists playing three hundred to five hundred thousand capacities is like online. And then yeah, when yeah. when you have it cracking, you go to the House of Blues. You know, like it's completely changed. Um, so uh, I you can't. It'll never be completely free, right? Because then artists won't have money to make yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's this evolving thing. And I don't like to get into the whole conversations about everything's cyclical and we're repeating the past and all, I don't like to I don't think that's totally true um, but I think you know I, I think music it continues to evolve and we see where see where it goes I think it is a hundred percent streaming in the future mm -hmm. there's no doubt yeah so. like, like we said earlier you just have to learn to embrace yeah, the internet you have to learn to embrace the change have, iTunes wouldn't have flipped to iRadio if they in, in a streaming service if they had intentions of continue, continue to sell music the new year coming up do you guys have some big plans for the and group yeah you know new brief Carolina record coming out um, I'm making a big comeback, Scott Weiland record. Um, we're going to have a bunch of big singles come out from DJ LA Riots, who's, who's one of our new clients. I got a lot of country singles coming out early next year, some pop singles, some rock singles. On, on, you know, We represent about 16 songwriters and producers. Um, so that's coming up, which I'm excited about. And, uh, you know, and, then, and then some new brand clients that we're working with that I can't really go into yet, but um, further launch on the headphone company and um, you know, we, our Kelvin Harris line just came out about eight weeks ago, which has done really well. And, um, you know, uh, we have a new portable speaker brand, uh, line that just came out called the Soul Republic Deck, uh, which we're doing a lot with. And um, long, you know, uh, long story short, on the brand side, we're starting to represent tech companies. We're starting to represent festivals, um, things that aren't viewed as typical brands, like, hey, here's a headphone or here's a guitar or something like that. But things that uh, could really use our marketing department. I think we're different than any other type of company and we're not bigger, but I think we're better. And um, we're, you know, we're gonna start representing a lot of new artists next year. And um, I think we have different insight than any other company. So I'm excited. So the one year anniversary, is it gonna be coming up pretty soon? February 1st, next year. Yeah. Yeah. So congrats for that on a successful yeah. first year yeah. to the AND group. And again, Lucas Keller, a good friend of mine down here actually. Right. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Absolutely. And best of luck to 2014 with the AND Group. I'm Nick Major, APTV Los Angeles correspondent. See you next time.